Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Well, it's a monumental day in many ways. So, first off, hey everybody. Colorful Marty and Marty are back for more Phoenix Red Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. This is the first episode we've recorded in several weeks because we took yeah. vacation. Yep. Um, on top of that, it's also the coldest day of the year right now at minus 30 uh, degrees wind chill Fahrenheit. Yeah! Which is not fun. None of us have left the house. Mm -hmm. uh, Piranha Plant got released as a DLC character for Smash Bros. He was, uh... He fun! Was, uh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Not my favorite, but he's all right. And finally, this is the day I learned that the speakers for my laptop have officially died. Because? And, and they're the built-in speakers. I don't know wh why or how, but they're dead. So now we're going to have to... Finally going to be able to record. <laughs> so now we're going to have to basically pump the music through my headphones, which neither of us are wearing. They're just sitting on my desk, and we're going to crank up the volume so... We can hear it. So if the if the audio sounds different, that that is why. Anyhow, oh, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, we're continuing with the stolen turnabout. We're still in the part one investigation. Marty doesn't really remember anything that's happened. Yes, I do. I remember. Oh, okay. Some. I remember uh, something got stolen and so like Zvati, dude. We're meeting uh, Luke Asby, the oh, okay. ace detective. Let's talk with him, shall we? Um. So are you really as famous as you say? Of course. For a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in the city that had not heard of me. Look at me. Um. I am Mask to Mask's arch enemy, the ace detective Luke at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Magina, to the crime scene. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask. With my brawny mind and brilliant muscles. Yeah! They mentioned it on the news in the Great People of the Town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Cool. Oh, tell me what you know about Mask Damask! And keep it simple, please. Like about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. Last night, here in the bowels of this store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here in Mortimer Taylor? Naturally! Wherever Damask goes, you will find Atme laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Damask out elegance to you and made a beautiful getaway. Yeah. But this time I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. Um, he stole <laughs> something, so he's won. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Yeah. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course, after all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. Okay. And it was 10 days ago that we received that Mask to Mask calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes. You see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and furrow. That's Adrian for you. A mere 10 days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? Yes. So, ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right here in the warehouse. And waited for him. Alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous. Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? You've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damask get away. Yeah. I always operate alone and concealed, out of the sight of others. What is this, like an assassin? Concealed. Precisely. Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. 
Uh, anyway, back to what happened last night. This guy's weird, but also I like him a lot. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. B but that's impossible! How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, Sir Lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though on... On one came <laughs> on, on that's one? A, that's a Is typo. No? no one, it's supposed to be... Even though no one came through the doors last night, our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible! Maybe he went in through that door instead Especially of since the Atme's other no door. Atme's nose is very large. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Atme, let's present some stuff. Uh, Look at here, this. that's my attorney's badge. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful, but I have no interest save that of finding evidence against my arch rival. Nah, that's okay. Nick is just a bit of a piggling evidence hog. <laughs> that's his defense style. <laughs> a piggling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? <laughs> Does that happen for everything, then? Uh, do not fear, young lady. I promise I shall retrieve your urn. Thank you, Detective Abby. I'm counting on you. The final round between Detective Luke at me and Mask Damask is set to begin. Still, there's something funny about this guy. Yeah, but don't forget he managed to retrieve the treasure from the last heist. Yes, I even have a video that details my role in the whole affair. Oh my gosh. I recorded it directly from the news on TV. Can I interest you in a copy? No thanks. <laughs> Mask Mask's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top-secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us, ever. Well, Sir Lawyer, I've been told that you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure that would be- That's right! We're going to find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do! Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. Mm -hmm. If, perchance, you should discover something of value, return then to my office. To the Office of Earthly Delights, the Atme Detective Agency. Uh, office of Earthly Delights? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Cool. Bye. Well, wait a minute! He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office, too. Take me with you, okay? <laughs> Investigation, please. Oh, this is nice. I have a sneaking suspicion this dude just, like, laid out fake evidence for us. <laughs> well, in there. That's, that could happen. That pathetic-looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box he had the sacred urn in! Wait, don't, they had it in it! Don't touch it! There may be clues to the thief's identity on there. Aww, I worked so hard to make that box! Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? The urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of the Fae Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Ned. And I was so proud of it. <laughs> Poor Maya. Maybe it'd have been better if Master Mask had taken the box too. Is there like paint on it or something? <laughs> There's something pink on it. It's a security camera. It's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out. A security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of that door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Um, Mystic Maya. Do you think I should smile? Nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. Like this? <laughs> Are those glasses? No, they're not. Hey, Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer. Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. 
game! It looks like this computer is for storing the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Mask to Mask! Hmm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Camera data added to the court record. Maybe the weirdo detective... <laughs> Still out with him. He just took it and ran off. Looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read is the burr. Aha! I got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger! Oh wait, we already You're seen this. this. Whoops. I didn't know if it had different It dialogue. says spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Look, a ladder! We already talked about this! <laughs> oh yeah, it's a step ladder though. I'm sorry, it's I, we recorded it's this so long weeks, ago. But even I remembered that. Wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Andrews say it was called again? Shichishito. It's literally seven branch sword in Japanese, or yeah. so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. Um, there's something about that that bothers me. Wow! You're really firing on all the cylinders today, Pearly! This sword... Wasn't Mystic Amy holding it last night? Uh... And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. Y you're right. Awesome, Pearly! I wouldn't expect anything less from my little ace apprentice! The sword is bent, so that must mean... Last night, someone used it somehow. Aha! I just thought of something! Maybe Detective Atomy smashed a mask to mask with it! Like this! Ah! What the heck?! What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head! My hair! <laughs> she hit you on added. the head? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we got the Shichishito in the court record. Yeah, Shichi is seven, and Shito, I believe, is sword. So that seven sword. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred earth. Remember, Maya, Miss Andrews said we're not allowed in there. Oh, look, what's that? Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. Well, if it wasn't here last night, I would have noticed a color this outrageous. But this paint is already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast! Besides, I told you it wasn't me. It looks like it's been several days since it was spilt. Hey, look at this! What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of this stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. This statue of Mystic Ami is so cool! I want a gold statue of myself! We could put it in the office! Hey! It's right in company! How about a gold statue of me? Oh, uh, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. I love how, like, Maya and Phoenix are just, like, arguing with each other and Pearl's like, like, I, I see, see all the everything! <laughs> huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Mystic Ami. Was this where it was last night? Uh... I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearls! I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin! So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. I think this dude, I think this detective just came in and was like, okay, I got- <laughs> No, I think he literally was just like, okay, let me, uh, let, let me, me- I need to look like I'm doing something. <laughs> no, I think he literally just came in, th this is my thing, I think he stole it, or took it somewhere, or whatever it may be, and then was like, okay, I gotta, like, put some stuff to look like it's a struggle. <laughs> just spilled paint everywhere, moved the statue. 
<laughs> so you think he's just totally full just, of it, just basically. Just flipped, maybe. Or maybe Mask to Mask got away and he was like, oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> and then, like, started bending the sword out of frustration. <laughs> then kicked the statue. It's on wheels. Kicked the st <laughs> no, moved the statue, kicked the bucket over <laughs> the bucket of paint. And it dried instantly. <laughs> maybe, it's not quick drying. Maybe his, maybe his anger dried it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, this is a very know. interesting theory, Marty. I don't know. Oh, Nick! Your cell phone's ringing! Hello? Phoenix right here. <laughs> oh, it's me, Gumshoe. Gumshoe! What is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him! I beat Mr. Ace Detective! Finally! This underdog's the alpha dog today! That stuck-up detective's met his match! Yup! I finally caught him! Lock, stock, and barrel! There's no escape for him! What? You caught him? Are you saying... You captured Mask and Mask?! Bingo! Well, actually he surrendered. But I still got him! Mask and Mask surrendered? That's great! So when can we come and pick up the sacred urn? Um, uh, well you see, I was gonna tell you... What? Something wrong? Did he break it? Do you think you can swing by the detention center sometime? Detention center? He wants to talk to you. Mask to mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal. So get over here soon. Uh, how does he know us? <laughs> the detention center, huh? Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> or we could go there. <laughs> I mean, that's where we have to go, I'm pretty no, sure. No, we can go to Right Company. Oh, let's go Right first. Company. Oh, it's the great... I love my escape. There's a detention center. <laughs> There's the same guard as always. October 12th, uh, detention like, center is my job. Room. Hey, pal! Welcome to the detention center! You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yup! After all, we got mass to mass. Right, but, um... So where's the sacred urn? Oh, sorry about that, pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should, should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. What, is he like, I'll give the sacred urn back if you can, if I can marry Maya? Is it something weird like that? I don't know. No. <laughs> you know he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it really hard, or real hard, <laughs> we're the victims. Well, I guess so, in a way. Um... I'm so used to thinking of the victim as the dead person, because we're always on a murder case. Excuse me? But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please don't just ignore me! <laughs> uh, wow. Um, who are you? I, uh, what? Um, why does uh, he have I, Leia hair? <laughs> I'm the ma mask. Mask? Okay. Um. Is someone being set up here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was he like I'm mask to mask? Uh, cosplayer. Surrender. Like, cosplayer or something, and then, like, Detective Gumshoe's like, Yes! 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 And just, like, brings this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey, Nick, doesn't he look kind of, well, gangly? I'm wrong to light. The, the famous mask to mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> his costume's great! <laughs> it's awesome! I'm just like... Is it? It looks so stupid to me. <laughs> Okay, I will admit, he kind of does look a little bit like a Koopa Troopa. What? Okay. No, it's the- it's- or like- So he's got the Princess Leia the, hair, he's got like, hay on his shoulders. He does not have hay, that's rope. He's got Rapunzel's hair and a brain. And then he's got like, the only thing that I think is weird is the weird chest part that looks like scales like a Koopa. That's Rapunzel's braid. It's not Rapunzel's braid. That's oh. a braid. Wait, what? Not a hair braid, but like a braid of something. So you're the mask to mask guy? In the middle? Y yes! You bet! No, uh, that's wrong. What? You see, it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no. If you want. Huh? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really need to say is that it's not right per se. He it's got arrested! It's not spelled mask to mask, it's actually mask to mask. What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling, we know that When much. he first started doing this voice, I was like, wait, is Puppeteer Boy- Oh, <laughs> Don't do that! Don't look at me like that! I don't need your pity! For a sec, I thought it was like that weird Puppeteer dude from the- With the- 
Let's Drew! 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 Thank goodness it's not. Thank goodness. And a major crybaby too. Wow. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well... I know why! It's because you stole such a priceless treasure! And now you're overwhelmed with guilt! Am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? 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 Okay. <laughs> First off, He's... dude, you got her jar! <laughs> he looks like he just hopped out of, like, a terrible Fire Emblem game. It's like, <laughs> my name's Master to Master. He looks like the, 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 the absolutely terrible level 2 knight you get that you yeah. never use because you they never suck. never use because he's, like, so noble. And then you, like, stick him on the sidelines. Like, no, no, he's Crabby Archer. <laughs> Crabby Archer. Two Cavaliers. Um, look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises. I can't keep up just the Does he have, like, a split personality <laughs> happening in here? Um, Mr. Nick, I couldn't hear what he just said, especially the last part. Um, Mr. Namask, do you think you could speak up a little? Yes, sir. I will. I promise. Or maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in a normal voice, so you really can't do anything. Mr. Namask, about the urn. Oh, yes! The urn! Right away! Er, uh, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually, I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me. Enough already! Just tell it to us straight! Please! Please don't yell at me! <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. He broke it. That urn, I, I, I lost it! What? <laughs> I thought he broke it. That would have been better. What did you just say? Did you just say you lost Past it? the rest of the case, <laughs> you're like going to court, proven innocent, and then you and Pearl have to like glue it back together. <laughs> yes, or no, um, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. Well, what do you mean? Well, y you know, I lost it, like I said. These things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know? What? You forgot our sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute! You went on the train dressed like that? <laughs> no, I, I, I was just speaking hypothetically. That's all. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. I just lost it somewhere. I don't know where. What did you go grocery <laughs> shopping and leave it in the cart? <laughs> it's like, what's this sacred urn? <laughs> this guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. Also, since this has been in the news, I feel like if he had lost this, somebody would have been like, "I found the sacred urn." It's like, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> it's a pipe bomb! <laughs> what? Are you really sure this creep is masked to mask? Maya, don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. So, who is this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife oh. like that! I guess she must be his wife. <laughs> What a guy I'm to be sorry. married to! The truth is, it was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? H hideout? His wife's just hanging out at the hideout. Oh, let me know when the urn, you get the urn in here. Okay. Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. S secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo, Pelpe, third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick, to Mask the Mask's hideout! Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Okay, well. Oh, we should. We need to present stuff to him. Obviously. Okay. What do you think about this? Hmm, I don't really think I can help you with that. Er, no, that's not it. Well, the thing is, I don't really know if I can sing it. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Show that secret <laughs> urn! I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. If you're so sorry, then you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place! But, but, the only thing I did wrong was lose it! Uh, that's not right. I was wrong either way, and I'm sure the owners would be able to this. You sure seem sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? <laughs> Not really. He still keeps stealing stuff. Oh! That's Master Mask's calling card! 
Pretty nice looking, huh? He looks so happy. I'm not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and Studied Hard. Well, I guess you could call thievery a type of business. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, show the, the... Oh, wow. Profiles. <laughs> Check it out, it's me! <laughs> what do you think about this? Uh, no. <laughs> show... My... Wait, show Master Mask! <laughs> Master Mask. <laughs> Check it out. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in mysterious masked men. Um... So that's what you wanted to be when you grew up? Yeah! Uh, no, sort of, but not exactly. I never imagined I'd feel as bad as I did now about the trade. People sure can be complicated, can't they? Uh. Oh, show the. <laughs> Should I show him? Yeah. <laughs> him? Do you know him? He claims to be your arch enemy and rival. Th that person. <laughs> He's not my arch enemy or my rival! Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it, the terms arch enemy aren't rival is... They are rivals! Only people who have it out for each other would disagree like this! <laughs> oh, look! Check it out, it's you! What do you think about this? Uh, I don't like talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> How old is this guy? 23! How is this guy a year older than me? <laughs> he looks like, no offense, or actually, he's younger. He does kind of look younger than me. He looks like... Uh, take off the hair... Slap on some blue Take hair. Take off the wig. Take off the hair, slap on a blue wig. It looks a little like young Mark. <laughs> Are you ready for Mask to Mask yeah, hideout? I am. <laughs> October 12th, Mask to Mask hideout. Is he living in a circus? <laughs> okay. Wow. Check this place out. No doubt about it. This is Mask to Mask's hideout, all right? Oh, uh, who's this? I don't know even what she looks like. Who is this? Is that you, Ron? Oh my gosh! She looks like Carmen San Diego! <laughs> this is Without awesome! Without the hat. Wait, what are her... Is she wearing Goggles. money on her ears? <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are earrings. They right? look like nickels! <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> uh, um, are you Desiree Delight? That's right. I'm Desiree. Ah! Oh, you must be the lawyer. And the victim. Y yeah, that's us. Your husband told us that you wanted us to stop by. I'm Maya Fang, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney of law. Nikki Boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Uh, well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki Boy? <laughs> <laughs> I s yeah, she sounds like Carmen San Diego. If only I could do that voice! I don't think she sounds like her in San Diego. I don't think she does, but she looks like her. She's wearing the coat, that's like it. And the goggles. Tell us about your husband. Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Weak sometimes, though. A bit? By the way, did you know that they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh, really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training in the law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. <laughs> After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He keeps insisting that he's going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me! I stole the urn! He kept saying, as if it was even possible. Huh? But, but, are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure, and he's, you know... Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? That would make sense, though. Isn't that, like, okay, I don't watch superhero movies, but isn't that, like, all of Spider-Man? I can't let most of you know, but I'm just, I'm just... Oh, wait, no, that's Superman. That's Superman, and that's also Superman. Spider-Man. I can't let most of you know I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> I guarantee who's, that crossover exists. Who's, who's in Spider-Man? Who's Mary the Jane. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. I haven't seen Spider-Man. I've only seen, like, the first one, but okay. I know who Mary Jane is. I don't know anything. Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. <laughs> oh, excitement, huh? Okay, are you comparing her to Carmen Sadio just because she's related to someone who steals a bunch of stuff? Yes! It makes so much sense! She's okay. with the husband who's stealing all this stuff, 
She's got this long, glorious red trench coat. She's similar. I think she's not tall. a trench coat. That okay, is definitely looks, a biker outfit. She's got the little like fur thing around her neck. It's like the coat, anyway. And she looks very tall and slender. She's got the brown hair. It's kind of like it's dirty blonde. It's brown, anyway. And goggles. And she she looks like a world traveler. I always pictured her as having like that. Oh, my Ronnie could never. Well, I'm not. I can't do that. My voice. Ronnie could never no, do. No, no, not like that. <laughs> kind of a mix. Oh gosh, Pluto. That's <laughs> <laughs> right away. <laughs> <way. laughs> anyway, I said that sentence. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. Same. Same, same, same. Different, 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 different. different. You don't want, well, I don't want to put my life on the line, but I don't like boredom. <laughs> no offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Yeah, money. Ronnie's incredibly rich. And super generous. He bought me that bike so that, that so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high-maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all of his money from? Ronnie's a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So he didn't get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for my head to spin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Mm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to the Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Pulled over? Yeah, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Um, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yeah, anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delay? I don't really know. We weren't together at that time of night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. <laughs> Let's check out the hideout, shall we? I like it. It's Mask to Mask! There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that! <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> That's it? I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? <laughs> That's awesome. Nick! It's a torpedo! It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. Where could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. No clues here. Um, there are definitely weapons on that shelf. There's just a shotgun! <laughs> I want to examine the shotgun! <laughs> oh, I thought that was a painting. I don't think like so. Like a picture of a gun? I think that's a but I think they're just American gun food enthusiasts. Okay. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Are those romantic? Wow! Look at all those bookmarks and notes stuck in them! Let's see here. Note, must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. Note, a calling card is an important part of any good thief's modest operandi. Wow, Ron really studied his stuff. Have to be good if you're gonna be a thief. Hey Nick, look on top of the chair. Looks like an envelope and a letter. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, let's read it. Maya, you know we shouldn't do that. I love how. <laughs> I love how. <laughs> We're right in front of this. Right in front of her, she's just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? That letter could be an important clue. No way. You can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. Mm, it's not just because I feel like it. It really could be important. If I was sure it was a clue, I guess I wouldn't mind. Where's Pearl? Uh... <laughs> she hasn't talked in like five minutes. There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over here. 
ducking cover. It's a missile! Did you know that there's dynamite missiles? Ruff! Ruff, ruff! But they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh wait, they're just really well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Theft of Mazarin Stone, the great albatross strategy. Theft of Mortal Goddess Statue, the great knuckle bomber strategy. Did the police even investigate this place? <laughs> hmm, this thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know! It's a fishbowl! Well, an upside-down one, anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. And that looks like ta a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Nick, do you think maybe you could act like a grown-up for a little bit? Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. That's a new low. <laughs> That's old bags, helmet, and tape recorder from the last case of the second game. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. It literally just looked like a wig stand. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Oh. oh, it's so cute! It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow! There's no fooling you! I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick! That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Ron Delight really is Mask to Mask. I better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. <laughs> well, that's probably everything. Hey, did you know I'm an attorney? Excuse me, but would you take a look at this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had I haven't the faintest idea. I guess I just don't get out enough. You get out on your motorcycle apparently. Ooh, that's so mysterious looking. I love looking at old stuff like this. Really? That's one of our most sacred treasured possessions. There's going to be a whole exhibit at Lordly Taylor with, with these types of things. Maya looks so happy. She's lit up like a 1,000 watt bulb. Terrific! You can count on Ronnie and me to be there. Sounds like fun. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Looks like that light bulb is starting to flicker. <laughs> um, so what do you know about this? No! You can't show that her to her, Nick! That emblem is top secret! Don't you remember? Oh! Oops, sorry about that. But the way she just said top secret was a worse giveaway than what I did. <laughs> Ooh, when I hear the word top secret, it just likes my interest like nothing else. Peak. Peak. I oh, can't well. read. I mean, I've gotten this far without having many girls. How old is she? She's also 23? Dang. You must have, like, married right out of college then. I don't know how long it's been married. Wait, let's be fair. Do you think either of them went to college? You don't go to college for theft. <laughs> He's just, I don't know. Um, Miss Delight, you must know, right? About your husband and Mask to Mask? Mask to Mask? Of course! I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yeah, wh what? What? Huh? The biggest fan? Yeah, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happens. Well, wait a minute! Did you say delusional? Yeah, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes he is mask to mask. What? What? <laughs> what? what are you talking about? More so, info here. <laughs> he's having, um, uh, he's yeah. He's moving on up <laughs> to the, the east side. So, when did Ron first become mask to mask? What are you talking about? He's not mask to mask. Huh? But, wait a second. Look around at this room! This place is obviously Master Mask's hideout! No, 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 you're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie's so timid himself that he... Timid himself? Timid... He, he's so timid himself. Right? Oh, that he... Yeah, okay, that's right. I was like, is there a typo? Because Ronnie's so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Master Mask is a bad guy! So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. Uh... But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Mr. Delight isn't mask to mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nicky Boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. 
You I just a... sped on the, your motorcycle <laughs> and tried to outrun a police officer. That was the What do you call that? Certain illegal activity. <laughs> I had a feeling you didn't. You're tough, but I can tell you've got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yeah, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it! Just relax and leave it all to us! Desiree's letter added to the court order. Oh, I know I know why Pearl doesn't show up here, I think. Because well, you can we you can go. do you can do stuff out of order and it might make sense later. Okay. I was about to be like, wait, what if we go to like the agency and she's just like, I'm gonna what? hang out here forever and like just doesn't come with us. <laughs> anyway, that's Get all the, that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Next episode's gonna be great. This one was great. This one was great. Next episode's gonna be better. Oh, okay. <laughs> the stuff's gonna start getting interesting. Anyways, right. until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.